you are listening to a dead man. That's right. Well, that's not quite right. But you've never heard someone who is dead for four days, alive, talking and walking around. I am Lazarus, the man Jesus raised from the dead. You perhaps have heard of my sisters, Mary and Martha. When Jesus came to our house, Mary sat at Jesus' feet listening to him teach while Martha was working in the kitchen. You maybe recall that Martha was not happy with Mary for not helping, so she asked Jesus to tell Mary to get busy and help. But Jesus told Martha to not get upset, for Mary had chosen the better way. That was a shock to all of us who were there. The men were to study and talk, and they were the only ones allowed to sit at the feet of a rabbi. But here, Jesus allowed Mary to sit at his feet when the women were supposed to be in the kitchen. It was part of our cultural hospitality to have it this way. Our families were close. Since Jesus did not have a home of his own when he left Nazareth for his ministry, our home was always open to him when he was in the area. His disciples spent many nights in our home also. Our friendships grew strong. I was always amazed with his interpretations and teachings of the scriptures. He could take the most complicated things and make them simple. Things I could never understand before suddenly became crystal clear. But you're wondering about what happened to me. Most of what I know, I was told by Mary and Martha, my sisters. The only thing I remember about much of anything is being sick, really sick. It started with a fever. I was very weak. I laid there for several days, and the fever just wouldn't go away. They tell me that I was often delirious. I can remember the look on their faces and knowing by their concerned look that my condition was serious. I heard them talking about calling for Jesus. I knew what they were thinking. We'd all seen Jesus cure so many diseases and illnesses. Surely he would be able to help me. That's all I remember, for shortly after that time, I died. At the time of death, the custom had become that bodies were dressed in long linen cloth and hands and feet were wrapped in burial bandages. Mary and Martha told me this is exactly how I was prepared for burial. Because of the hot climate and how quickly bodies would begin to decay, I was buried on the same day that I died. What I could not know is what would happen next. My sisters had sent word to Jesus that I was sick, thinking he would come running, but he didn't. It was four days later when he finally came. Martha came running down the road to meet Jesus. Angry at him for taking so long, she blurted out, Lord, if you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. She went back and got Mary. They spent time there on the road, and it was there that they told me that Jesus wept. He then asked to be taken to my tomb.
When they got there, Jesus asked that the stone be rolled back from the tomb. But they told him not to because the stench of death would be too great. Everyone thought he must have wanted one last look at his friend. But Jesus said to them, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they rolled the stone back. Then I am told that Jesus looked up to God to pray, then cried out, And here is where my memory is restored. I can tell you firsthand what happened next. It was like I was in a deep sleep, and I heard these words, Lazarus, come out! I opened my eyes. I didn't know where I was. I felt so weak. It was dark, yet there was a blazing light coming from somewhere. I sat up, turned my head, and saw that the light was coming through a door or opening of some sort. Looking around, I then realized where I was, in a burial tomb. What was I doing here? Then as I started to stand up, I saw that I was wearing these burial clothes. It began to dawn on me, I had been sick and I had been buried, but I couldn't understand. Had I been buried alive? Or if I was dead, what was happening now? It made no sense. I walked to the entrance of the tomb, and there outside were crowds of people staring at me. Then I saw him. There was Jesus, standing with his arms outstretched. People were gasping, some fainted. Others were yelling and screaming, clapping, praying, dancing. And then Jesus said, unbind him and let him go. And they did. The sound of Jesus' voice had raised me from the dead. It all seemed so unbelievable. But then there I was. Who was I to argue? I had no say over what just happened. You might think this would be a celebration for everyone. Countless numbers of people, though, were leaving their synagogues to follow Jesus. The religious leaders were so upset over this that they began plotting to kill Jesus. You will also read in your gospel that since so many were coming to see me as the evidence of this miracle, they were also plotting to kill me. Nothing was ever the same again. Just a few days later, Jesus would be crucified, 
We didn't understand. But only a couple of days after he died, we began hearing reports of those who had seen Jesus alive. Many could not believe this, but anyone who had been there at my tomb would know, yes, it was true. If Jesus could raise me after four days in the tomb, God could certainly raise him from the dead, just as he said would happen. This same Jesus will one day call your name into your grave and will raise you from the dead also. Peace be with you.